administrator for our Zoom account, so we usually depend on Timothy. So thank you, Timothy. Oh. And then Malcolm is also, uh, Malcolm, I'm sorry, I see Malcolm. Selma is also on the line from our staff. Um, and then we have Dennis Kwok. Um, and then uh, thank you, Frank and Rob from HPEC and Colleen from the Mink Center. So uh, good morning, everybody. Um, so we wanted to go over the process for uh, the high step, uh, basically the, the business advising portion uh, where we refer companies to our partner organizations for, um, you know, assistance with whatever issues that, that they may have. Um, so I kind of wanted to go, I know for um, for HPEC and for um, Colleen, although Frank, you're, you're new to this too, so, but I want to start from the beginning because VBOC is a new partner this year, so, um, I just thought I'd kind of just walk you through from what happens from the beginning. So when a um, so a company goes onto our website, right, invest.hawaii.com under um, gov. I'm sorry, invest.hawaii.gov um, under the exporting the high step tab, um, they fill in the registration form, which is um, they fill in everything online. And so what happens is once they complete that, and they hit submit. It actually comes in as an email to um, myself, to Mark, and to Selma, and the three of us get it. But what also happens is that it populates a, a, basically a, a spreadsheet of the information, um, and it just you know populates it uh, chronologically as, as companies sign up. So um, then Selma takes that information. Um, we're gonna work off of OneDrive, the Microsoft OneDrive, um, Mark will set that up and we'll give everyone, um, we'll invite everyone to, uh, you know, send out the link to the OneDrive. So basically what we do is on the OneDrive, uh, we set up folders for each company. It'll have a copy of their registration form and it'll have uh, what we call an evaluation form, or I guess you could call it a consultation form. And that's for... Uh, the partner, the organization that is talking with that company for you to fill out um, when you have a chance to, you know, meet with them or talk with them. So that will be in the folder. Um, There'll also be, uh, Jamie, be a, a spreadsheet, which will be our dashboard, right. which will be along with the folders, and it'll list the companies, and then it'll also list the referrals. And so Acme Inc. comes in, Selma sets up a folder for Acme Inc. with the registration form and the uh, input form or evaluation consultation form for the partner organization to fill out as they talk to the company and look at their needs. And then on the spreadsheet, kind of the dashboard, Selma will put which organization it was referred to and date it. And then it's just up to that partner organization after you do start your consultation, if it's in progress or when you're finished, that you date it saying that, yes, you've talked to them and things. So then we'll have uh, just a dashboard of where we're at with companies. And we can see pukas where companies have not been contacted yet or we're having trouble contacting them. A couple of years ago, Selma started notifying me when a company had been assigned to us. Yeah. She'll be doing that. Was, yes. That's really helpful, actually. Yes. 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 So she'll be doing it on Fridays. Oh, go ahead, Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what we've decided that uh, weekly on Fridays, um, she'll be sending an email out to each of the organizations uh, with a list of the companies that you've been assigned to. And then you can go into the OneDrive and, you know, look up the companies, look for their folder and, their, and, and all of that. Um, so so we're going to use the same system that we uh, developed last year, where we're going to basically refer companies by uh, revenue, what they report is their revenue level. So for, um, except for VBOC, so we'll, we'll, we'll get to VBOC. VBOC will, will be assigned basically by uh, when the company checks off you know, if they're uh, a rural company or women owned, they also have the veteran owned business. And there are some other um, 
because VBOC services uh, the whole military community, uh, we will base referrals to them uh, based on that rather than income level. Um, but we'll, we'll go into some ex exceptions. Well, I, I guess I let me just say the caveat is we're going to reserve the right if we see certain, something in a registration form that we think um, um, it should go to another partner organization, we'll, we'll just go ahead and refer it to that uh, the partner. But basically, let me go back to the level. So um, under 200,000, uh, Link Center um, will assign to Link Center. And then uh, 200,000 to a million, we're going to um, give to SBDC. And then HPEC uh, will be a million and above. But again, um, um, you know, we'll look at there. There may, there may be certain things in in a in a company's profile that kind of um, lead us to think, oh, this might be better going to uh, another organization, um, you know, one of the other partners um, outside of your, you know, what we just said. Your the revenue um, guidelines will be. Um, the other thing is, um, okay, I just lost my thought. While you're thinking wrong, about that, I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, first of all, we're only talking about a handful. I mean, you know, just a couple maybe. So it, this isn't a big deal. We're actually going to do it by revenue. However, we already saw one that came in where it was over a million, their revenue. It was like 1.2 million. But then it said they had no, they did no, have done no exporting. They had no business plan. They had no export plan. And so we were thinking, does HPEC would they really want to deal with this because they need to go back to some basic business concepts? So this might be one that we might steer towards SBDC or the Mink Center, at least for a consultation to, you know, so you don't have a business plan. <laughs> Let's talk about that rather than putting HPEC, because we know HPEC, you're more specialized in more export development, export, uh, specific export issues and things like that. Um, so, so that might be an example of one. We don't expect to do that very much at all. So we're just talking about one, you know, just maybe a couple out of the, the 40 or so or 50 that, you know, registered. Well, there's we should ask Rob, is that, the, is that the case? I mean, would, is that yeah, what Yeah, generally want? speaking, but there's also a few of the smaller companies, I think, are ready for HPEC too, you know, in the 200,000 right. range or so. Um, so, I would just ask, please don't be so hard and fast about those mm -hmm. rules. But if we're not sure, let's just talk about it and we'll, we'll figure sure. it out. Sure. Yeah, especially one that's been exporting for a while and we look at their export, you know, what they um, are reporting. And if it's pretty high, then you, you can tell, oh, okay, this company. Is, yeah, you um, can have a small company with a large proportion of its business in export or mm -hmm. alternately a large company with a very small uh, proportion, as Mark just said. Uh, so right. it, it really comes down to your judgment call when you look at it. Right. Right. We're also, a, oh, sorry, Jamie, we're, all, we're also allowing or want our resource partners to know that you can do a second referral. So let's say you get one and let, let's say it comes to you, Colleen, and you start working with them and you realize, oh, you know, they should talk to HPEC because they're already, even though they're small, they're already doing some things. They have some very specific issues about Korea. You know, you could go ahead and do that referral. What we'd want you to do though, is like send it to, to Rob and Frank and then CC um, Jamie, myself and, and Selma in. So we'll know on sort of the spreadsheet, like where it is and uh, that, that you wanted to do that, do that referral. So you guys can do second referrals too. Kind of it's a village approach. <laughs> Right. Okay. I think your screen froze, Jamie. Oops. Oh, my. Still hear me, though? I can oh. hear you now. There you go. So, uh, yeah, so th that sheet becomes important to uh, to know what you know what was discussed, and then again, like like Mark said, the the spreadsheet or the dashboard, as we'll call it, so that we can track where uh, where the companies are going. I will try to be better, and I apologize. I I know like uh, two years ago, 
um, or so. We we did some uh, more regularly scheduled partner meetings where we could talk about different companies um, and kind of their um, you know, status and maybe talk about certain issues. So um, since we were talking about how even though we are kind of zoomed out, it also is a very convenient way <laughs> to convene and, 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 and talk, you know, even if it's just for like a half hour. Or well, so. Those meetings are very useful. I, mm -hmm. I encourage them. That's, that's great. Yeah. So uh, let's see. So that's, that's basically it. The other thing we'll also kind of, kind of keep track of is if it seems like there are a lot of referrals going to one particular partner organization, we'll try to even it out more because we just don't want to um, overburden one, one organization over another. So we'll also kind of take a look at that and be mindful of that for ourselves internally as, as we look, you know, as we look to um, referring the companies out. Um, okay, let me see. So, um, so yeah, Selma's setting up uh, right now. Uh, we've had, I see a couple more that came in today. So maybe we've got about 10, up to 10 by now or so. Um, but we'll give Selma time to set up those folders and um, I think probably today, I don't know, Selma, do you think we'll be able to send out maybe by the end of the day to everyone their, the first round of assignments? You're, you're muted, Selma. Yes, I'll be able to send them all today. Okay, all but, right. Jamie, yeah. those came from the kickoff? Yeah. Also, I have to send out the link hey. so you can all get it to the OneDrive. So I will do that uh, 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 early this afternoon. Uh, so look for that email that you link to the OneDrive and just go in and just test it to make sure you can get to the folders. Um, to answer your question, actually, I'm not really sure, Frank, um, if it's a result of the kickoff or, you know, we started, we sent out a first email to say, you know, high step is open, you know, get on, um, you know, register and, and all of that. So uh, the word is just getting out there and people are getting onto the, our, the website and starting to fill in the registration. Can you tell yet if there's any new companies or is it so far the usual suspects? Um, we do have a, um, a couple of new companies. Good. Um, the first couple that came in were coffee companies, which I thought was interesting. I thought we just recently had, um, uh, uh, Timothy, in fact, worked with our with Alex Lay in the Taiwan office, and um, we were supposed to have a, 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 a buyer's mission, uh, a reverse mission where buyers were going to come here. And they're still planned from Taiwan, uh, Taiwan coffee buyers. Uh, there's still plans to do an in-person one next year sometime, hopefully. But anyway, Alex uh, organized in Taiwan, so they were, they, they were uh, in a room together. Um, and then there were 10 Hawaii coffee companies that participated from across the different islands and they sent samples of coffee. And anyway, they had like a two hour session the other day. So, um, um is that a Hawaii specific thing or a Wusada? Uh, it was specific, uh, right, Timothy. I, it was something that, uh, that, um, the Hawaii coffee association here in Hawaii, I think they t they took a trip to Taiwan last year, right, Timothy? Yes, um, actually, the uh, Hawaii Coffee Association they went to Taiwan last year, and we kind of thinking what about bringing the Taiwan buyer to Hawaii, but because of the COVID, uh, we postponed to next year. So that's why we we have the virtual coffee um, sections um, last week. That's good. Yeah, yeah, Taiwan's drinking a lot of coffee, almost yeah. as much as Korea. So I thought maybe that's why we had uh, several coffee companies, but I, I don't know that uh, um, there might have only been one of those that was part of this this um, this program. But anyway, um, it looks like we do have um, uh, from the the names of the companies I've seen. I think so far most of them are new, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think some of them are, yeah, from what I've seen. That's great. Jamie, can I just jump in uh, just to cover one thing in a little more detail? So I'll send out the link to the OneDrive. Uh, from each organization, from HPEC, it'll be Frank and Rob. 
from uh, Mink Center, it'll be Colleen, Brittany, and who else was on that list? There was a third person. I think Maylin. Oh, it was Maylin, but she's actually going on maternity leave soon. So I oh, think okay. just Brittany and myself should be fine. Okay, good. Thank you okay. on that. Uh, with uh, Dennis, we have you, Dennis, and then Lori and Victoria, I, I guess, the three. Yeah, that works for us. Thanks. Mike. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Um, so do you guys have any questions so far? Because I have a couple other things that... Um, um, no. I got it all down. I actually have a question. Um, okay, yes. Jamie, so, and Mark, maybe you can answer, but uh, what kind of metrics are we uh, capturing? Uh, consultation hours or sessions? Uh, are we doing the, any of those, are we uploading like session notes into the OneDrive? Uh, yes, that's, so that's what the um, uh, evaluation form, it's, it's just a Word document. Um, so you can um, uh, basically, you know, record, uh, you know, when you, the date you spoke with the company and, and basically what, uh, what you talked about, um, any kind of issues, and then you, you could bring that to our attention or if you, de or, or if you also refer it on to um, suggest that they contact, uh, work with one of the other partner organizations, you can put that in. So it's a, um, you know, so as company, as other organizations work with them, you know, they'll just continue to make notes on that, on that form. Oh, okay, so we have to submit the evaluation form every time we meet with this uh, the company, or is it just like a continue like continue? Yeah, you just the... continue on the on that one um, right. on that one form. I right. see. Okay. Right. And oh. we're at, uh, you know, unless it's an issue that that takes several um, several meetings, um, um, we're actually, you know, just really minimum at least one one session with them just to kind of go over what what's in their uh, application. You know, maybe if you need to clarify anything in terms of what markets they're looking at or, or looking at some of their export sales information, you know, if you have any questions about that, you know, maybe it went down. Do, is there, do they, um, are there any particular issues they, they're encountering that have resulted in those, you know, decreased export sales or, you know, right. those kinds of things. Right. Um, at the, uh, Dennis, at the top of the form, and for everybody, at the top of the form, there actually is some check boxes uh, in terms of business services that they need. And so when you first discuss things with them, it could just be, you know, one of the boxes like business planning and other might be financial things. Uh, so th there's, and it might be sort of similar to the types of stuff that SPDC does or VBOC. And so you can check some of those boxes. And then the rest is just sort of a running kind of text log of, yes, had a meeting on November, whatever, discuss this, refer them to that, and uh, provide them with these services. And, and, and then you just, and you can just pull it up in the OneDrive and either edit sort of online or download it and then re-upload it. It's pretty easy probably just to edit within the, um, the OneDrive. Oh, okay, thanks, Mark. Thanks for the clarity. Sorry, I was trying to see if I could find it on my, I think the form I have is not, up, is not updated because we, we had made some changes. Um, but yeah, once, you know, uh, once Mark sends out the link, you can always go in and just kind of uh, check it out to <laughs> see what's in there. Um, also, on so the, oh, I was just going to one last thing. Also on the registration forms, people are registering now. And I think Rob was asking, are there repeats? There's nothing wrong with repeats because we actually ask companies each year to go in and register, even if they did it last year, because we like to see, oh, their revenue's gone up, or oh, now they're exporting here, or they have more export revenue. So it, it it's not a bad thing when we have repeat registrations, and we encourage companies to do that, um, because I know some companies might say, well, I, I should be in your system. I did this last year, but it's an update for us as well. And yeah, another, the another. When you're on the OneDrive, you could actually go back and see previous years 
Uh, for those who already have links, I might have to relink some people, but you can go back and see, oh, if they've already been doing this for a couple of years, you can go back and see what those evaluation sheets were from last year and two years ago. I think you'd have to share the documents again. To the, I think I might have to share, but I'll go ahead and do that. I'll share the previous one too, if people are interested in just going back and looking. I'm sorry, you James. No, uh, Rob had a question. You had a question. Rob? I had a question. Just a comment. One of the things that I've you've heard me talk about probably for a few years now is that um, I've had this idea that HPEC should try to do some kind of an export plan writing seminar or workshop or something like that. And I was curious if um, if you still think that that would be useful or not i know that you had that kind of tentative tentatively i i think so i'm sure that there are, are many companies that, out there that could use that we we also uh, jamie i think in a previous discussion we thought you know rob like if let's say you get five referrals after someone starts you know referring these out in the next week or two and you get enough you could do a, like a webinar just with your five that you're mentoring and just, just you know, do an export planning, how to do an export plan and how that fits into your business plan. Do a Zoom meeting or something if you want. You, you can take these companies and do some sort of group event with them. I mean, we would like kind of the one-on-one -on -one mentoring, but there's nothing that you could, you know, certainly do a group event. Okay. Same for, yeah, same for any of, of partner organization right likewise Colleen if you know you wanted to do like you know some is, business yeah. planning zoom meeting with yeah. your five or eight or how many ever you have after a couple of weeks yeah so we'll leave it leave it to you a um, couple of things that I wanted to address you know we've talked about it before but we thought maybe we we could sort of set a best practice or, or SOP on it um, one of the issues is, um, and you know, I think all of the organizations have faced this, is when you try to reach out to a company, you don't hear back from them, um, and you try several times. So uh, we were thinking that maybe we would say, you know, if you try three times, you know, you email them once, you email them again, and then you try to call them, and they don't, they don't contact you, then, then just go ahead and, and. Um, you know, note that on the form that you try to reach out. Um, hopefully, if, if there. I'm sorry, Jamie, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, you. go ahead, Colleen. I wonder if we need to have some kind of, um, I don't know, verbiage in our con our initial contact with them that says, you know, maybe spelling that out or saying, I, I don't, because sometimes uh, a couple of us are responding at the same time to one uh, to one business. I don't know how that happens, but sometimes that does happen. So um, they may be working with one of the other businesses and their forms and set things on the OneDrive haven't been updated. So we don't know that. Or um, I don't know. I don't know if you want to say something like, do you need to do this? Do you need this is your first step in going through the high step process. So if you want to participate in the program, then you need to do this. I don't know, it depends on how strong you want to be with it. Yeah, I mean, we haven't required it in the past that they speak yeah. with um, one of our, you know, one of the partner organizations have like an initial consultation, but um, I don't, you know. Um, we could, we, uh, Jimmy, maybe we could come up with some verbiage just for the, uh, for an email that they would want to send out, you know, when you do the first contact, just that this is part of the high step program. Thank you for registering with us. You know, we could put something like that together, just a couple of sentences. Then also, if you make a phone call, uh, so they sort of know where, it, where it's coming from. And, and then we'll also try to be really good. And I, I know, uh, Sometimes uh, we got a little behind, I guess, but we'll try to keep the OneDrive really up to date so that people should know, uh, you know, who's sort of working with the company. Um, can I add just one thing to what J Jamie was saying that we, we kind of, I guess, are thinking that within a week of the referral, 
that we hope that you could do your first contact, at least an email, because that'll sort of like the SOPs would start out. You get the referral from Selma and she's gonna send out emails on Fridays. So you'll get your kind of list of companies on Fridays. Then within a week, you can contact them. And I think we'll say, Jimmy, like three contacts, but maybe, um, maybe it shouldn't all just be like emails. Like you could do two emails on a phone call, but kind of vary it, like try two different ways to get a hold of them. And then if after three times, you know, they're not returning your call or responding to your email, then you just put that in the evaluation form that they did not respond. Because when companies, this is just a registration, but when companies, you know, are applying for uh, award money, you know, up to $10,000 to subsidize their export development program, we'll go back and look at those forms, you know, on the one-on-one. -on -one. And, you know, if we see sort of deficiencies in their export development plan, but they're not even calling people back who are trying to help them, you know, the evaluation committee, you know, if it's one other more deserving company than this one, I mean, you know, that might go into the evaluation of whether they get money or not. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and I guess it, we'll talk further and it, it'll, we'll, we'll look at it case by case basis as to whether or not that's something we need to uh, really um, push in terms of, you know, getting them to respond. But, um, and maybe we could, Mark, we could check with uh, Lyle if they, if, when they submit the registration, if the res if there can be a response saying that you'll be contacted, I'm I'm not sure. Um, they might just get like a registration successful message right now, but maybe we can change the message. So we'll see. Anyway, we'll work. We could do that. We'll, we'll ask Lyle so that just to let them know that you. Yeah, that might contacted. be a that might be a good idea because a lot of times we're coming at them out of the blue, right? Right. They don't. We're, we're responding to them yeah. and letting them know, okay, we're a high step resource partner and right. it's been suggested that you, you know, we contact you to set up some business counseling to support your application, but still they're like, okay, wait, who's that? So maybe, maybe if they yeah. could be included, yeah. say someone, a resource partner may be contacting you. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Thank you for, right. We, right. Something like, thank you for registering. Uh, within a week, you will be contacted by, uh, one of the high step team, either one of these organizations or something like that. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. Let's talk, we'll no. talk a while about that team. Yeah. Yeah. Colleen has a great point because I know sometimes it feels like these people think I'm trying to sell them a service that they, <laughs> yeah. well, you know. Especially since our email addresses aren't necessarily HPEC or the agency, it's, it's I mean, right. if you get an email right. from me, it's gonna be from Frank Haas and who, who, who the heck is this guy? <laughs> right, right, right. 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 Like, like I'm trying to sell them the uh, another extended warranty on their car. Right. 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 <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So okay, no, yeah, we'll. Great idea. We'll 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 try to get on that right away to get that set yeah. up. We'll talk to Lyle today about that for the website. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I think we've covered everything. Um, does anyone have any? Any other questions? Of course, as questions arise, please reach out to us. But um, you know, I think I think the regular get-togethers on Zoom is, is is will be great. We can iron the things out as they come up. Okay. Anything, Dennis? Any more? Any? Yeah, I have questions? one more question. Uh, okay. Sorry, so many nope. questions. But um, so uh, every uh, I guess a uh, business that we converse with uh, on our end, uh, we have to actually have them register on our system. Is it okay for me to ask them to register through the Viva portal to capture that? You know, um, we were going to ask that because I have a feeling, Colleen, do you have to do that as well? And yes, I think, so I think, yeah, I think Joe. Yeah, everybody too, fills out SPC. our. <laughs> yeah, we have to fill out a 641 SBA form for our counseling. Yeah, so yeah, us. so they just go right through our our regular counseling um, program and application process. Yes. Is that something you can sort of help them with or kind of do it? Because you have a registration form that actually has probably a lot of the information that you need already there mm -hmm. in the registration form. Is it something that you can actually maybe in your one-on-one -on -one consultation kind of sort of just do it online just because 
I hate to sort of like they go and they fill out this one form and then as soon as they contact us, like, here, there's another form to fill out. Can you kind of work with them to, to get it in your system so it's not so, sure. here, we're bureaucrats, fill out another form. Yeah. But then oh, yeah. That, well, can, it's an SBA form, right? Like you're, you're saying. I, I can imagine that the SBA has forms that they probably need to sign or, in, you know, like do electronic signature because we have those yeah, forms too, so right, that different. they have to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little different from Colleen's maybe because we do need an electronic signature. So they'll actually have to go online and sign off on the information. But like Mark uh, suggested, we could definitely go in and uh, fill out those yep. forms from the. From I, yeah. The, I guess if it, any way to help facilitate it without being sure. a burden on, on you guys, maybe it would be uh, helpful. For sure. Yeah, um, it, should, it shouldn't be a problem. It's not like it's, um, you know, if if it's similar to the past, it's not it, for us. It's you know a handful of businesses, so it's really not that big a deal. It's okay. We can do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think we would appreciate the, that. Okay. The monthly meetings that we're going to have, can we get those on the calendar uh, soon? And then um, maybe they don't always work out, but at least uh, they're on the calendar. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, that would probably be helpful too, because if I um, then that way I can ask Timothy to set up um, the meetings and we can make sure that, um, because he has to coordinate everyone, you know, like our whole division. <laughs> so make sure we're not in conflict with anybody else in our in our division with any other meetings going on. So, um, okay. Wait, wait, we... wait, Friday, I mean, I know Friday, <clears throat> about 20, Friday afternoons, but <clears throat> that might be a good time to do either on a Friday afternoon or maybe a Monday because Selma maybe by noon on Fridays could get the emails out. I hear yeah. your company. I was going to suggest that I, questions. ideally it would be good shortly thereafter Selma's emails are sent out so that in case we had any questions or we could just discuss certain companies amongst ourselves, that would be really helpful. Okay. Like maybe two o'clock on Friday, Friday, like one Friday a week, like the last Friday of the month or something like that. So, yeah, that would be great for me. That's fine. I don't know. What do you think, Jamie? Is that well, that, yeah, I, I, I mean, that, that would be good for scheduling. I mean, everyone would know and then, you know, um, and that time works for me. <clears throat> yeah, Timothy, that is that a, yeah, Timothy, does that um, conflict with anything that you... No, sorry, uh, every Friday we do have set up meeting for the care at fund so from well oh, cares act okay to, to almost three o'clock okay does um, it three o'clock uh should be okay after three o'clock should be okay is three o'clock too late for people no it's fine by me it's well, actually very, it works out well for me too because uh, if it's a problem because of the account I, I can set it up from from my account, but if it's yeah, just a timing true. issue, then we can do it at 3 p.m. Whatever, you, whatever is easier for you guys. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll 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 set that for now. If it if it becomes a problem, then maybe I will ask you, Rob, if you can set those up. Sure. We use we use HVAC Zoom account if you don't mind. Yeah. But we'll, we'll so we'll work with so we we're looking at. Last Friday. I just realized month, three Christmas is the last Friday of course. in December. Yeah. <laughs> so it's maybe uh, we yeah. could maybe do it the week before or something. The week but. before on that one, and then just go. We'll, we'll we'll look at the schedule then, and we'll send it out. We'll send out the dates. And then yeah, I mean, maybe everybody can't attend every meeting, but at mm -hmm. least uh, just you can attend eighty percent of them. That that's great. Yeah. So okay. the first one, did, did you suggest a date for the first one? I think we were looking at maybe the week before Christmas, because the last Friday the 18th? was the 25th. Yes. So it the 18th? was the 18th. December 18th. Okay. I'm just going to stick it on my calendar just as a placeholder until it gets yeah. formal. And then we would go to last Friday each month for the next six months. Okay. Okay. Just writing. Okay. All righty. Uh, I think that's it. If if no one has, uh, if there aren't any more questions, then 
uh, one final question on the sure. the video that I just sent you. Oh, uh-huh. uh, of, of the high step kickoff event. Yes. I had a title slide on there that I had created in PowerPoint, and I I think I had everybody's logo. But could you just double confirm that that it's kosher? Okay. All right. And if not, if not, tell me who am I missing? Okay. All Thank right. Thank you. Jamie, when you send out the video to uh, Pita, I don't know who, who you said you were sending out the recording, but could you send it to me too so I can send it out to my team? Who, who missed the oh, video? sure. Um, I think, is it up? Oh, actually, we. I think... Uh, I'm going to have to post. Uh, what I'll probably have to do with it is post it on the OneDrive because it's a huge... Oh, file. I think, okay, yeah, I think actually, Lyle already put it up. He has it on okay. YouTube. I, let me, I'll double check with with Lyle. Isn't that what he said, Rob? I think he responded. Yeah. 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 I think and he put it up. They're big files. And in fact, I yeah. tried to oh, upload yeah. it to the HPEC YouTube channel and it, it timed out halfway through. So I have to do it again over the weekend. They're big files and they require a really steady internet connection for a couple hours to upload. So it's not the kind of thing you can easily um, send to somebody, but you can share it via OneDrive or obviously on YouTube is easy. So, thanks. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Well, thanks, thank you, thanks. everyone. Uh, if you do think of questions, out, you know, later, uh, email me, Mark, Selma, whomever. But um, so we should have a first uh, email out by the end of today with referrals. Have a safe and small Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Thank, thank you, everybody. You. Okay, thank, thank you, you everyone. Bye. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.